We've got Owen Sheehan in the kitchen. Owen, remind us what you're making. So we're doing um, kind of healthier toffee squares. So like. it's kind of like a, a millionaire shortbread. You know, you have your kind of biscuit base, your caramel layer and chocolate on top. But gyms are open. Everyone has kind of been a little bit healthier. You can see now there's a big kind of shift and change into what we're eating. Yeah. Uh, I've done so many desserts over the last few episodes here. So it's no harm. I go back to doing something a little bit healthier. But... It still packs all that flavour and you wouldn't think that it's... Now, when I say healthy, please use bunny quotations with that. Yeah, there's still plenty of calories here, you know, in moderation, but there's not as much sugars or processed uh, foods here. Okay. And it's the same process we'll do to three layers. So the base... Okay. So in other cases, I would, have used, I would have used digestive biscuits to make mm -hmm. a base. I've crushed up some walnuts. So again, some healthier fats, omega-3s, okay. omega-6s. Blitzed them up in a blender. Blitzed up some uh, oats. Same as that as well, so just kind of oat flour, so just normal porridge oats into porridge, a blender, yeah. yeah, yeah, blitz that up too. And the star of the show throughout the whole dish are medjool dates. They're these beautiful nature's candy. <laughs> Sorry? I call them medjool dates. Maju are they called medjool? They're called medjool dates. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, I was yeah. genuinely yeah. going medjool. That's my nickname for these dates, What's yeah. happening? All right, medjool. <laughs> um, they're just dried fruit. Uh, again, they, they're like raisins or figs. They're just... They give a really kind of caramel-like flavor yeah. when you blitz them up. Uh, so I've blended them down as well, popped them into your base. They're going to be used in the filling as well, but it's not hard to put a little bit into oh, the base. Right, okay. And then a little bit of oil. So usually we'd use butter. I'm going to use coconut oil tonight. It's a little bit healthier. Uh, again, still plenty of calories, so just be conscious of it. So add a small bit in. Whisk this all around just to form... Like always, a kind of wet sand consistency. Yeah. And when we do for like cheesecakes, it's your biscuits, it's your butter. So again, it's not that it's calorie free or it's not that there's any kind of magical ingredients here. It's just swapping out bits and pieces. It still tastes the same, mm. the texture is still the same, but we're just getting a little bit of a healthier. This is the stuff that I spend a fortune on. You know, when I'm getting a coffee and I'm like, I'll get something healthy. Yeah. And it's one of these. And I, you know, I need to stop spending four euro on them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a pity because. Oftentimes, you know, these ingredients are often very overpriced or, you know, it's because they're often the hard to get. the is very overpriced. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but even like, you know, medjool dates were very hard to find a long time ago. Now they're really readily available. You get them in every store now. Okay. But mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, you know, you'd be searching to find these ingredients. You could barely pronounce them, not to mind find them in, in your local shop, you know. Okay, so I feel better not yeah, having Yeah, yeah, don't feel better with that. So could you use normal dates then? Could Absolutely. You, you could use fine. figs, you could do raisins, you could do anything yeah, at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, they just have this kind of really uh, distinct caramel flavour. That's why it just works so well for here, okay? Yeah. So that's your base layer. It looks very like what we would usually do. Yes. So pop, pop that in. That would go into the fridge if you want while we're doing the, the filling itself, okay? So what we have here is we're going to go into this pot of oil that we have. So I have some leftover coconut oil. You could do your butter, you could do your sunflower oil or any, any oil will work. It's a fat source. That's yep. what we're doing okay. here. Uh, into this for the filling. So again, what this would usually be in like a shortbread, it would be caramel. caramel. So it would be sugar melted down to a caramel. We're going to use my medjool dates. We're going to pop them in. I've blended them up again with some peanut butter. So peanut butter gives that really nice kind of creamy consistency. Mm -hmm. It gives the color as well, which is great. So we pop that in to our oil, like so. And we just kind of mix this together. It doesn't take long. And again, make sure you do blend them down. If you want, if I was at home, I would just be putting all this into a blender and blend it all together. Um, it would just make too much noise now and it takes a little bit of time. So I've just okay. pre-blended all the ingredients. Yeah, 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 okay. Mix them all together, okay? And you'll get, it will kind of resemble this kind of off caramel-like consistency and and it will taste like it it's sweet you're getting the sweetness from the medjool dates you're getting the fat source from the peanut butter mm -hmm. um and, and it's you're a really nice consistency when you're trying to start exactly yeah yeah exactly so mix it as much as you like you'll see you start to kind of get that nice consistency if it's too dry add a little bit of water but there's yeah, no need to be would it, right, how long would it normally take oh literally a couple of seconds right. so instead oh, of really? instead of putting the spot you can put into a blender or food processor just let it all just blitz up your peanut butter, your medjool dates, a little bit of water to help it mix, uh, and then your fat source, okay? okay? And, you know, keep in mind, when this goes into the fridge, that fat source will solidify. So you're going to get an even layer. It's not gotcha. going to be runny like that. Yeah. So once that's all mixed through and you're happy with that, we'll get a spatula. This is middle layer into our dish, okay? okay? So, as Owen said, he preferred to have it all done in the blender, handy out, but... He yeah, pop it, it in. Yeah. But again, it's, it's absolutely, it doesn't matter a bit. So make sure your oil is melted, is yeah. all, okay? So that goes on in the middle. Again, same as always, spread it over to the edges. This is your kind of fake caramel. 
But honest to God, if I blindfolded you and gave you one, uh, an actual millionaire shortbread or this one, I, I honestly think you would not know much of a difference, to be honest. Okay. Again, there's still Thank plenty you. of calories and still plenty of, of, of good stuff in this yeah. anyway, you know? And then, obviously, you can't really cheat this one. Ch <laughs> chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate. It's a little bit healthier. There's, a, there's less sugars in it. There's a few kind of extra health benefits to it, okay? Okay. So, same as always, again, I'd probably let this sit in the fridge for a couple of minutes as we're melting the chocolate down. Just leave it. The more, it can, the more cool it is, the, the better, the better it's set. Chocolate, exactly, course, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for camera's sake, we'll just pop the chocolate on over the top. Be as generous or as stingy as you like. Oh, we whenever, got generous. We're never, we're never yeah. stingy in my kitchen yeah. anyway. So, again, get your chocolate on. Spread that, same as always, over and around the edges. And then no baking involved. As always, this is great. We just pop it into the fridge three or four hours uh, overnight, if, if anything. Pop it in, leave it all set. They'll all kind of set together. The chocolate will set, the caramel layer will set, and that biscuit base will kind of set as well. Is this, is this a recipe in your book? It sure is, yeah. Is yeah. it now? <laughs> so we brought out, again, to help out everyone who's back in the gym and, and doing all these kind of health and wellness ones. We did an e-book last week, Macro Munch. So again, there's 35 recipes, all Really kind of, the, we don't stray away from the good kind of wholesome tasty food, but they're a little bit more health conscious. Yes. And um, they're handy if you're in the kitchen and you're trying to watch your eating, you're still getting plenty of flavor. Lovely. So but that's Macro Munch, it's an e-book, you can get it online. You go to my website, it's yeah, you, you get can it find there. it all yeah. there. Yeah. And so there's a free version too, you can get the free version. You can get the free version yeah, or you so can get the one it, or you can get the full one if you, you want. You can get the full one so with this is what we're left with. That toffee square, so you can see the three layers are there. And again, Portion-wise, cut it as as generously or as small as you like. The smaller you cut it, the less calories than it. Delicious. Okay, thank it's you. so <laughs> good to have you back. Come on. Macro Munch, Check out his book there.